friends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today, we're going to be showing you some old school products that are normally found in Asian homes. Growing up, I had these around the house and they were very useful. So yeah, just sharing the love. Before we begin, uh, on the previous episode, I made a bit of a boo-boo by mixing up Arabic and Tamil and I feel really, really bad. I'm so sorry. So what happened was, I'm going to ask my friends how to say I'm sorry and... Oh, I try, okay, I try my best. Uh, Yene Taibaseda, Manage it and Gate, and Anna Asifa Chita. I'm so sorry. This is Tiger Balm. It's a very iconic Singaporean product. A lot of us grew up with this in our homes, and you can use it for a lot of things like uh, muscular aches and pains, itchiness, insect bites, flatulence, headache, blocked nose. It's like you realize that a lot of these Asian products, right? It's in that they cover everything. This is the Tiger Balm White, which is the original, and this is the red one, which is a slightly stronger version that's also warming. The red one will leave a bit of a stain. This is the white one. It feels very smooth and melty, and you see like the way that it glides, almost like oil. So that reminds me of the time when I was uh, very physically active. So I used to do like this movement theatre, so it'd be like on the floor and like jumping up and down. And you go home and it's like, oh my god, I can't feel my body anymore. <laughs> so this is really good because it's like you just take this and then you rub it in and you just really like get in there you know you surge it in you and also I remember one time this taxi uncle told me to I had a pimple that wouldn't go away and I was telling him about it and then he was like you should put tiger bar on your pimple I tell you very good very good and I was desperate so I put it in my pimple didn't work. These are po chai pills. Now this is for like digestional issues. So like if you got stomach ache or indigestion, heartburn, etc. etc. Here's how it looks like inside. Isn't that cute? With a man's face. Is that Uncle Po? Ta -da. So cool, right? Okay, so this is one dose. So you and drink water. Yeah, that's how you take this. So it's not one by one. I get a bit of stage, right? When I act. Before I go to stage, my stomach just starts going nuts. I keep running to the bathroom, I need to pee, and then I come back and I keep thinking I'm gonna have a stomach ache. And then my friend introduced me to this and then I started like taking one before I go on stage just in case, you know? It made me feel better. I don't know whether that's a placebo thing, but like it helped la. This is really or people like to use this for like stomach ache or like cramps or wind. It's this concept of like wind in the body, like, you get bloated. This Rui or is something that's very popular amongst like parents. They use this on their babies. When I was growing up, like every time I get like stomach ache or I feel like uncomfortable, I get like, mommy, can we put the oil, put the oil? <laughs> and she'll do this. It's so nice. It just reminds me of that. And it just feels very comforting. That's also for adults. Like if you're having menstrual cramps or if you're feeling just general stomach discomfort. <laughs> So this is prickly heat powder. This helps to relieve itching and irritation caused by our hot and humid weather here in the tropics. So this is like different from like I think regular talcum powder because it's also got antiseptic properties. So when you put it on like a heat rash, it helps to heal the heat rash as well as prevent like new rash from forming. But a lot of army boys in Singapore use this to like powder bath. <laughs> from what I understand, it's like you know when you go out of heel or whatever and you can't shower, so they... And then down the pants also. Everywhere, just everywhere. <laughs> I love this. I love that it's not like in a plastic bottle. It's in this like cute tin. And the design of the artwork is so awesome. So these areas tend to get very sticky. And if you're outdoors the whole day, like this part is like most likely to kind of heat rash or something. So in this part of the world with the heat and the humidity, this comes in super handy. This is a very thick syrup and it's for coughs and sore throat. So apparently this was made like in the Qing Dynasty more than 400 years ago by this physician and it got really popular popular and therefore is still around today. The texture is very thick, it's sticky, it's almost like honey or like molasses and it's very sweet and it's so good like it really soothes your throat. It's a little bit minty as well. This does not have the medicinal taste that you would normally have in like the other kinds of cough syrups like the more western kind. Nowadays they also have many different forms. They have the tablet, they have little candies that you can get outside and you can also get it in like individual sachets. This is really common here. You just go to the drugstores, it'll be there. You'll see like Vicks, you'll see rubber in, you also see pee buck out. This is three legs cooling water. It kind of just tastes like mineral water, but it contains this thing called gypsum fibrosum, which is a type of mineral that is supposed to help eliminate like heatiness. Okay, so heatiness is quite 
I think an Asian concept. Yeah, you know sometimes when you eat something and after a while you go, oh, I can feel like a sore throat coming on. That's probably a heaty kind of food. So all this is not ideal. So this is supposed to be very good to help cancel out the heatiness and help to restore balance in your body. Look, they even have examples of the kind of food that are heaty. They got durian, they have satay. Lack of sleep will also cause heatiness. There are also other types of cooling water out there. And this is one of the more famous brands here. Because there's three legs and it's really just three conjoined legs. So this is x -Oil. It's another very iconic Singaporean product. People use for like giddiness, headache. This is really good, especially if you get motion sickness. You see this one small bottle, it's like a dollar. And you think it's a small bottle, but this stuff lasts like so long. So a lot of people, they just do like, and then they will rub it on their temples. So another interesting use for x -Oil is that uh, some actors also use this to help them cry because it's got this like menthol thing, right? What, what you can do is tip it on your finger, right? And you just put it right underneath the corner of your eyes and then you just wait and then it will start to hurt. <laughs> so you will tear. <laughs> but it's like, uh, it's okay lah, it's not too painful. Don't get it inside of your eyes. Just very close will do. Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. We are fast approaching the 100th episode of Tried and Tested. Oh my god! Thank you guys. Love you guys so much. To celebrate the 100th episode, we have something really special planned. We are going to be doing the biggest giveaway on Tried and Tested ever. And as an additional bonus, two people out there, yes, two of you, we want you on the show on the 100th episode. <laughs> so cool! Okay, so to do that, right, all you need to do is upload a video of yourself on like YouTube or Facebook or wherever and then send that link to this email. Okay? Tell us why you want to be on the show because we would like you to be on the show too. Okay? Oh, for this, you will have to be in Singapore. So I don't know if you're from overseas but you find yourself in Singapore for holiday during that period or whatever. Who knows? Mm. I don't want to reveal too much but you guys are gonna love it. <laughs> So the closing date for this is 14th of October. So send us those emails by the 14th of October. So remember, go download the app. Ah, yeah, you know the drill. The video comes out one month before it goes onto YouTube. You know what to do. Okay, that's it. Till next time. Mwah! Go be beautiful. Hope to see you on the show.